All right, so we've just installed Django. We've uh, prior to that we installed Python, and so you're reading the Django tutorial, and you run across this command to create a project called Django admin.py. All right, but wait a minute. It tells me this doesn't exist, but I just installed Django, so what's going on? Um, well, the script Django admin.py is not on our path, uh, so we need to figure out how to get it there. Um, so first of all, uh, let me let me start off at my computer. I gotta find out where that script got located. So when you install Django, it, it gets put in the Python directory. So I go to my local C drive and find out where Python got installed. For me, that was here. And there's this scripts folder. So I'm going to open that. And there, there is Django admin. That's our script that we need to be able to run. So I'm going to copy this from my... Um, let me try this again. I'm going to copy this from my uh, address bar. I'm going to minimize this window. And I'm going to add that folder to my path. So um, it's got to be a faster way to do this. But you go to go to the control panel, system, uh, system. You're looking for the advanced system settings or the system properties. Now it's probably a quicker way to get here, but I don't know it. So um, Environment variables is what we want. And under system variables, there is a entry called path. So if you watch my how to install Python video, we've, we've edited this before. I'm going to edit it again. So go to the very, the very end of this value here, type a semicolon. And I'm going to paste the path that I had. So this adds the Python 2.7 scripts directory to my path. So I hit OK, OK again, OK again. I close this, and I could go back here, and I should be able to run Django admin.py. Uh, wait a minute, I got to restart my command prompt. OK. So uh, I don't. Let's see, CMD. There we go. Command prompt and Django admin.py. Awesome. So I didn't provide it any arguments, um, so it shows me the available commands. And if you scroll up a little bit, it gives you some additional information. Um, so let's let's create a project just to to see that it actually does work. So Django admin.py Start project, and I'll just use my site as the name of my project because that's what they use in the tutorial. Uh, notice that I'm in my home directory, so uh, I've got to figure out how to get to my home directory. So I'll open up a, a um, browser, uh, Windows Explorer. Um, how do you get to your home directory? Uh, documents. C colon. Users. My directory. Okay. There's my, my site folder. The start project command creates this folder. And here are all the files. Um, created in a project. So that's how you, um, once you've got Django installed, that's how you um, get the uh, create a project. So if we wanted to create an app, we could use uh, Django admin.py. Actually, we need to um, cd into the my site directory. Oops, dear. See the manage.py? Again, from the shell, we can type Python, 
manage.py start app foo. All right, so what that does is creates a new app called foo. And there we are. You would edit your models, your views, and write your tests, and you can get going with Django. There we go.